school on Monday and there was a, a patch on his, a Palestinian flag patch on his sleeve. Um, we received a phone call from the school that he was not allowed. He would not be um, allowed playtime. Um, he would not be allowed playground time. Um, and at lunchtime, he was isolated from his year group. He was not allowed to have lunch with his year group. Uh, when he went in again on the Wednesday, he again was not allowed playtime. He was not allowed, um, he was isolated from his year group at lunchtime. Uh, the following day, he was taken um, out of his class by a deputy head and marched to the head teacher's office. Our correspondent uh, Emma Birchley has been to the school and sent this report. So school shouldn't have broken up until the end of tomorrow, but instead uh, a decision was made uh, to close uh, the end of the school day yesterday. Uh, it all relates to uh, decisions by some parents to allow their children to come in wearing badges and um, face paint in the colours of the Palestinian flag for children in need. That was in the middle of November. So red, green, white and black. And they say that the school told them to collect their children. I saw one photo in particular of a child with that face paint. Uh, that mother said she was told to collect her son, uh, wash it off, and then he could come back once he was in different non-colour affiliated uh, clothing. Uh, the families here, though, are saying that um, while the school might say that they're apolitical across the board, actually, when it came to the beginning of the Ukraine war, uh, the Ukraine flag was flying and there were fundraisers. So why is it that children are not able uh, to wear uh, Palestinian colours? And in particular, this has been about an eight-year-old boy called Yahya. He had a, a patch with the Palestinian flag on his coat. Uh, he hasn't been at school since November the 23rd because his parents are refusing to move, remove that patch. And they say that the school won't allow him back until that's done. He's not even being given any homework, they say.